total fixed costs aren't our only costs. We also have variable costs. And variable costs are costs that change with the amount produced. In this example, our variable costs are the costs of labor. Well, each worker costs $100. So when we have zero workers, our total variable cost is $0. When we add one worker, the total variable cost becomes $100. When we add the second worker, our total variable cost is $200. When we add the third worker, because each worker costs $100, 3 times 100 is 300. And we can continue to do this calculation for all the other quantities of labor. So total variable cost is 400 when we have four workers, 500 when we have five workers, and so on. Here you can see our total variable cost. Our total variable cost increases with the amount we produce. And we can graph these numbers on the same graph as our total fixed cost. So we start by putting a point at zero, zero. Because when we produce zero units, our total variable cost is zero dollars. When we produce eight units, the cost is 100. When we produce 20 units, the cost is 200. So we put a dot at 20 tote bags and $200. When we produce 45 units, the cost is 300. When we produce 75 units, the cost is 400. When we produce 100 units, the cost is 500. When we produce 120 units, the cost is 600. When we produce 130 units, the cost is 700. And when we produce 135 units, the cost is 800. We do not have to consider the last two scenarios where we have nine workers and 10 workers because at these points, the marginal productivity is zero and the negative. We would not want to hire the ninth or 10th worker because at these points, they aren't contributing anything else to our production. Total product is no longer increasing and marginal product is now zero or negative. So to look at our total variable cost, we simply connect the points. We can see that our total variable cost is increasing. By definition, variable costs are costs that vary with the amount produced. The more tote bags we make, the more the variable cost increases.